a female truck driver. Of course, men ask me about my company. They don't really care, though. They just want my number. I'm a female truck driver. Of course, people ask me, do I need help with this lane and gear when I'm not even struggling? I'm a female truck driver. Of course, I'm going to shower every day. I'm a female truck driver. Of course, men flirt with me by saying... Boy, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If I wasn't married, I'd have been a lot lizard. I'd have been on Instagram doing videos like this. I'm a lot lizard. Of course I walk these parking lots looking to clap some female truck driving cheeks. You drive that big old thing by yourself? Who else driving it, sir? Mm-hmm. I'm a female truck driver. Of course y'all don't see me at truck stops. Have y'all heard it? I'm a female truck driver. Of course people ask me, do I want a team drive? No, I don't. I'm a female truck driver. Of course people be shocked when I say that. Boy, I'm telling y'all. Female truck drivers and teachers are not the way they used to look when I was growing up. Times is changing. A 24-year-old woman and her 25-year-old boyfriend from Florida have both been arrested after letting their three-year-old son rot in his bed. So look, according to the reports, the 24-year-old woman called 911 and said, my son ventilator is not working. Can y'all send somebody over here? But this is not an emergency. So don't send no fire trucks and tell the person driving the ambulance do not come here with flashing lights and sirens because it's not that serious. What? I just want y'all to come over here and check things out. And after that, y'all can leave. Police said after taking one look at the child, it was clear that he was dead. They let this baby rot and die in his bed. His stomach was bloated. And when we removed his diaper and clothes, we noticed that he had open sores that went down to his muscles. What? We also noticed that he didn't have a rectum. What? There was just a big hole there. And if you look through it, you can see his intestines and his spinal cord. I wasn't expecting all that. The child had been under home care for about two years after a near drowning accident, which left him brain dead. Doctors recommend a 24 year old woman. Some people don't deserve no kids. We didn't say nothing because we didn't want to lose our check. Oh, nah, that's even worse. I didn't even read that part. So basically, they was getting a check every month to take care of him. So they was paying you to take care of your child, and you couldn't even do that. The woman, when she gets married, and when I get married, I can write down... As my, like, in my paperwork, be like, I don't want my man to get married to another woman. And if he decides to, he has to divorce me and pay me this amount. Because God gives the woman the right to choose, like, okay, if she, if, and if the man, if he wants to have multiple wives in this relationship, he can leave me and go have multiple wives. Y'all from Egypt, but, right? Yes. Are the women in Egypt talking like this? I mean, I'm a... I'm hold on, hold on. How do the women... In, I've been... To, okay. So I've seen it firsthand. Okay, I can tell you. The only reason y'all can even have the freedom to talk yeah, like I'm this here. is because you're here. Yes, 100%. But by your own religion and your own country, you know for a fact mm -hmm. how men operate. Yes. But only here because of the westernized program... We have a hookup and, and, the, and the fucking... The court system that uh -huh. castrates men if they want to be natural men... Women can talk like this. But, see, but anywhere that this isn't the system and people just go off of their natural genetics and their natural biology, biological makeup, women get in line and the men get in line with how they are naturally and it's accepted. 
Mm. Only here because of the court system is not accepted. No, because here we have hookup culture. So it's more, and we have a hypersexualized society. So it's more prone to have polygamous relationships with people who are like, oh, let's have four women in, the, in my relationship or six or whatever. Yeah, in my religion, it says that you can marry up to four marry. women. Yeah. It didn't say you can be. multiply, mm-hmm. be with women. Multi- the woman, when she gets married. And- All right, so I, I agree with both of them. Now, I'm talking about the chicks and the dude. I do feel as though the court system be beheading us. The moment you have a child, you sign your life away. The moment you get married, you sign your life away, bro. Because now your girl could decide, oh, I don't want to be with him no more. And because y'all have that child, she got you for 18 years. 18 years. I've heard the craziest story of this married couple. The husband catches the wife cheating. They get a divorce. The kid was not his. The kid was the person that she cheated on him with. But the court... He still had to pay alimony and child support on a child that wasn't his for somebody who cheated on him. Now, that's crazy. Where I agree with the women is I don't feel as though, I'm being so honest with you, in America, I don't feel as though people who are practicing polygamy are practicing it for the right reasons. Now, I'm not saying everybody, but I do feel as though a lot of people who are practicing polygamy, they're not practicing it for the right reasons. So, in that sense, if you don't want to be in a polygamous relationship, you have the right. Now, this whole, oh, I'm going to make him sign a paper that if he wants another girl or if he wants another wife, then he has to pay me and da 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 Nah. I just personally feel as though if you don't want to be in that relationship, you should leave. You have the option to get up out of there. If she had said, I will put in the paper that if my husband wants to get another wife, I can freely walk away. If I don't agree with it, I can freely walk away. If she said something like that, then that's cool, but... Of course, it had to come out to money. It had to boil down to money. Like, mother really just want to be taken care of without working. Bronx, New York. No, you're not about to take these people food and go with it. Bronx, New York. Yo, let me tell y'all a story. My job kind of resembles... I guess, a power plant. I'm just making the point that we have different sections of my job, right? We order DoorDash and Uber Eats. We can't leave. You can't leave to go out and eat because sometimes, bro, with the section that you might be working on, they might need you. In my Uber Eats options, it says, leave food at Guard Shack. Last week, I ordered some food. I go to the Guard Shack. The guy was like, Oh, nobody's, nobody bought no food. He's like, yeah, nobody bought no food. I didn't see anybody. So I called the guy. I'm like, hey, bro, did you did you bring the food? He's like, yeah, I left it at the door. I made a left, and I left it uh, on the, at the door. Like, he left it on the ground. He left it on the ground on the refinery side of the plant. I really felt some type of way, bro. You see this dirty-ass plant. Common sense would tell you that we not, not I ain't going to say common sense would tell you that we not connected, but common sense would tell you to maybe ask the guard. And he said, oh, it didn't say that. Every Uber Eats I've ordered have left it at the guard shack. For some strange ass reason, your dumb ass decides to go against the plan. I'm gonna say that to say, if your elevator don't go all the way to the top floor, please do not work these type of jobs. Try to find something where you don't have to use too much brain power. I'm gonna tell you one thing, boy, there ain't nothing like some free food. It tasted real good. And I, before y'all come at me, I respect these jobs. I respect the Uber Eats, I respect DoorDash. I did Uber at one point in time. I was going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to lie. Until I called them and I asked about the food and he lied. He lied and said, yeah, well, it, you know, usually I bring food. That's where I bring it. I'm like, yo, on the thing, it tells you to drop it at the garage. Like, he's like, no, mine doesn't say that. Now I'm looking at my, I'm looking at the, the, the stuff on my phone and it says, leave with guard at guard shack. Just say you made a mistake. Like, I hate people that lie. If you make a mistake, just say, oh, my bad, I made a mistake. Don't lie about it. So, yeah, man. Lunch was on him that day. 